ever pondered the technological prowess of ancient civilizations, we often perceive our ancestors as primitive, living in an era devoid of the technological comforts we enjoy today. Yet, the more we delve into the annals of history, the more we realize that such an assumption could not be further from the truth. Ancient civilizations from the banks of the Nile to the fertile plains of the Indus were far from technologically deficient. In fact, they demonstrated astonishingly advanced scientific and technological capabilities. Whether it be mathematical tablets revealing knowledge of complex calculations, exquisite metal sculptures crafted with precision, or hydraulic marvels that showcase ingenious engineering, the ancient world was a hotbed of innovation and scientific discovery. These civilizations, it seems, possessed advanced technologies that, in some cases, exceeded modern understanding and imagination. So strap in and get ready to marvel at the genius of our ancestors. Imagine calculating square roots or trigonometric functions without a calculator. A daunting task, isn't it? Yet our ancestors, in their wisdom and curiosity, found ways to navigate these complex mathematical concepts, leaving behind a legacy of ancient mathematical marvels. Let's embark on a journey to ancient Babylon, where clay tablets known as Plimpton 322 were discovered. Dating back to around 1800 BC, these tablets showcased the Babylonians' ability to calculate square roots and even perform algebraic calculations. Their mathematical prowess didn't stop there. They even understood Pythagorean triples, centuries before Pythagoras himself. From Babylon, we move to ancient Greece, where the Antikythera mechanism was found. This intricate device, often termed as the world's first analog computer, was used to predict astronomical positions and eclipses decades in advance. Its elaborate gear system demonstrated the Greeks' understanding of complex mathematical ratios and their application in creating this functional marvel. Let's not forget the ancient Indians, who developed a computational device known as the Yantra. This tool, often carved on stone or metal, was used to solve problems related to arithmetic and geometry. They even had a profound understanding of the concept of zero and the decimal system, which forms the backbone of modern mathematics. Our journey concludes in ancient China, where the Lo Shu Square was discovered. This magic square, where the sum of numbers in each row, column and diagonal is the same, formed the basis of various mathematical concepts and influenced many aspects of Chinese culture, including architecture and art. These ancient mathematical marvels, from Babylon to Greece, India to China, stand as a testament to the ingenuity of our ancestors. They remind us that the roots of the mathematics we take for granted today were planted by these ancient civilizations who, despite the lack of modern tools, explored the realm of numbers with astounding precision. Mathematics, as it appears, was not a stranger to our ancestors, ever marveled at the intricate details of ancient metal sculptures. Well, prepare to be astounded. These aren't just works of art, but testament to a profound understanding of metallurgy. Picture this, artisans thousands of years ago crafting complex metal pieces with nothing but rudimentary tools. One method in particular, the lost wax casting technique, showcases their incredible skill. This method involves creating a wax model of the desired object, encasing it in clay and melting the wax away, leaving a hollow mold. Molten metal is then poured into this mold, creating a perfect replica of the wax model. From the elegant bronze statues of Greek gods to the intricate gold jewellery of the ancient Egyptians, this technique has left us a legacy of stunning metallurgical masterpieces. These artefacts not only reflect the artistic prowess of the ancients, but also their advanced knowledge in material science. Indeed, the ancients were master metallurgists. How did ancient civilizations manage their water supply? Well, let's take a journey to Morocco. Here, an underground Portuguese cistern, a marvel of ancient hydraulic engineering, stands as a testament to the ingenuity of our ancestors. This subterranean marvel, built to store and preserve water, displays a level of skill that leaves us in awe even today. Now let's shift our focus to Sri Lanka. Here, you'll find a different kind of hydraulic wonder, wind-powered smelting furnaces. These ancient furnaces harnessed the power of the wind to drive their bellows, a testament to the advanced understanding of air dynamics and the utilization of natural resources. These examples serve to remind us that civilizations of the past were not merely surviving, but thriving, using their knowledge of the world to shape it to their needs. 
they were not merely passive dwellers, but active shapers of their environment. Water management, it seems, was in their veins. Did you know plastic surgery dates back to ancient times? Yes. Our fascination with physical perfection isn't a new phenomenon. One of the earliest known pioneers in this field was an ancient Indian surgeon named Sushruta, who lived around 600 BC. His comprehensive medical text, the Sushruta Samhita, outlines detailed procedures for various types of surgeries, including rhinoplasty. Rhinoplasty, or what we commonly refer to as a nose job, was described by Sushruta with astonishing precision. He detailed how to reconstruct the nose using a flap of skin from the forehead, a technique that remarkably mirrors modern methods. Sushruta's work didn't stop at noses, though. His text also outlines procedures for repairing ears and lips, making him a true pioneer in the field of reconstructive surgery. His innovative techniques and vast medical knowledge laid the groundwork for what would eventually evolve into modern plastic surgery. The ancients even had a hand in cosmetic enhancements. So next time you think about plastic surgery, remember it's a practice steeped in history. How would you drill a hole in solid rock with primitive tools? This question might seem perplexing to us, but for our ancestors it was a task they mastered with finesse. Imagine having only the most rudimentary tools at your disposal, yet you need to bore a hole into the heart of a formidable rock. Quite the predicament, isn't it? The ancient civilizations, however, were not daunted by this challenge. They developed a solution that was both practical and ingenious, the bow drill. This simple device, consisting of a bow, a spindle and a drill bit, was a technological marvel of its time. With it, our ancestors could generate enough friction to drill precise holes into solid rock. The spindle was attached to the drill bit and the bow was used to rotate it rapidly. This motion created sufficient heat to wear down the rock bit by bit until a hole was formed. The bow drill was not just a tool, it was a testament to the incredible ingenuity and resourcefulness of early humans. They had discovered a principle of physics, that friction generates heat, and harnessed it to overcome what would seem an insurmountable obstacle. This technique was not limited to a single civilization or geographical area. From the ancient Egyptians to the Mayans, numerous cultures across the globe have left evidence of their ability to drill through rock. These holes were not rough or rudimentary, but surprisingly precise and uniform, demonstrating a level of skill and understanding that is genuinely remarkable. The holes drilled into solid rock served various purposes, from anchoring structures to creating intricate art and jewellery. They were an integral part of ancient life, and the techniques used to create them have been passed down through generations, still being used in some parts of the world today. It's fascinating to think that our ancestors, with their so-called primitive tools, were able to achieve such feats. Stone, it appears, was no obstacle for our ancestors. Ever come across man-made structures that defy explanation? Let's journey to Africa and the United States for a glimpse into the enigmatic. Adam's Calendar, located in the heart of South Africa, is a collection of monoliths that aligns perfectly with the stars. Yet, who erected these stones and for what purpose remains a mystery? Now let's cross the ocean to the United States, where we find the Devil's Corkscrews. These spirals of hardened sandstone twisting deep into the earth are a geological oddity. But wait, they're not natural. They are man-made and their purpose, well, that's anyone's guess. These puzzling structures and many more like them challenge our understanding of our ancestors and their capabilities. They stand as silent, inscrutable testimonies to the advanced technological prowess of ancient civilizations. Some mysteries, it seems, are yet to be unraveled. So, were the ancients more technologically advanced than we give them credit for? Indeed, the evidence seems to suggest so. From ancient tablets that exhibited precise mathematical calculations, to the creation of exquisite metal sculptures using the lost wax casting technique, our ancestors certainly had a knack for innovation. The marvels of hydraulic engineering, such as the underground Portuguese cistern in Morocco and wind-powered smelting furnaces in Sri Lanka, a testament to their ingenuity. And let's not forget the pioneering work of an ancient Indian surgeon on rhinoplasty and plastic surgery procedures. Even the ability to drill precise holes in solid rock using primitive tools like the bow drill is nothing short of impressive. And then there are the enigmatic structures like Adam's calendar in Africa, 
and the devil's corkscrews in the USA that continue to baffle us. Truly, the technological prowess of these ancient civilizations far exceeded our modern understanding and imagination. Perhaps it's time we give our ancestors the credit they deserve.